in the news. Mexican National Guard disastrously shoots migrant after opening fire at a pickup truck attempting to avoid a checkpoint wound others. Nigerian police confirms six people were whisked away by bandits. Into sports, Gennot Roar drops Awoni, recalls Odio Nigalo two years after the striker retired from international football. Data shortly. This is TOS Television, your digital first Pan African news network. I am Merciful Ajinomo, and you're watching TOS News 360. We begin with the international scene where authorities say officers from Mexico's National Guard disastrously shot a migrant after opening fire at a pickup truck attempting to avoid a checkpoint. The National Guard said the truck, which was carrying 13 migrants, did not respond to others to stop for inspection near the southern town of Pijijipian on Monday and instead tried to ram a patrol car, forcing the officers to open fire, killing one migrant and wounding four others. Persecutors in the southern state of Chiapas said the dead man was a Cuban citizen identified only as Cristobal N. Afghan Interior Ministry sources on Tuesday confirmed that at least 19 people were killed and 43 others were wounded after two deadly blasts and gunfire hit the country's biggest military hospital in the capital, Kabul. Bilal Karimi, deputy spokesman of the Islamic Emirate, confirmed that at least two blasts took place at the entrance of the 400-bed hospital in Kabul's 10th district. In Nigeria, Federal High Court sitting in Abuja on Monday ordered the federal government of Nigeria to pay the sum of $1.638 billion oil revenue to the oil-rich Delta state government, adding that the money should be paid as a 13% derivative sum due as arrears of revenue payable to the state government. The Delta State government had pegged its argument on the 2018 verdict of the Supreme Court ordering the federal government of Nigeria to recover all revenues lost to all exploring and exploiting companies due to wrong profit sharing formula termed as a production sharing contract since August 2003. The Federal Capital Territory Police Command on Tuesday confirmed that at least six members of staff of the University of Abuja were whisked away by suspected bandits. The confirmation comes after it was earlier reported that the university quarters located at the Giri area of the FCT in the early hours of Tuesday was attacked by suspected gunmen. Residents also confirmed that the gunmen shot sporadically for over two hours before making away with their victims. A suit fired by the coalition of northern groups CNG seeking for a referendum to actualize the self-determination of Biafra and other agitations at the Federal High Court in Abuja has been adjourned to the 20th of January 2022. Recall that the group had in June sued the Attorney General of the Federation and the National Assembly praying the court to compel the defendant to halt the ongoing unconstitutional review exercise and in its place conduct a referendum to determine what determines Nigeria and who populates it. The spokesman of CNG, Abdulaziz Suleiman, explained to newsmen after the adjournment that the court could not sit and the suit joined the Attorney General of the Federation, Abu Kamilami, Senate President Ahmed Lawan, Speaker House of Representatives, Femi Gojibiamila, and the National Assembly as defendant. This is your digital first Pan African news network, TOS Television, and you are watching TOS News 360. Africa Business and Sports Stories on return. Stay with us. You welcome back. And to developments across Africa, Somalia on Tuesday commences election for lawmakers for its lower house of parliament. The next phase in a long delayed and troubling process toward a presidential vote that has some time turned turned violent. The first two lawmakers for the next two 75 member lower house of national parliament were elected at a voting ceremony in the capital Mogadishu amid heavy security. Somalia has not held a one man one vote election in 50 years. Monday's ballot followed a complex indirect model used in the past to choose new leaders in the troubled horn of Africa country. Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed says foreign forces have fought alongside Tigrayan rebels in recent battles in strategic areas in Amhara region. He made a statement while speaking to senior government officials in a televised address, the first since the reported capture of DC and Kombolcha cities. Abi said government's calls to arms from a few months ago had not been met with proper organization despite the massive number of youth who had joined. 
Outstead Sudan's Prime Minister Abdallah Hamdok has called for the reinstatement of his government, which was dissolved in a military coup, adding that it could pave way for peace in the country. According to the Information Ministry, Abdullah Hamdok spoke during a meeting with ambassadors of the United States, Britain and Norway at his home where he is under house arrest. Prior to this, thousands of Sudanese had staged a demonstration on Saturday marching against the army's October 25th power grab, where top General Abdel Fattah Abouran dissolved the government, declared a state of emergency and detained Sudan civilian leadership. In business, according to data obtained from the website of the African Development Bank, the bank has blacklisted at least 40 Nigerian firms and individuals for engaging in corrupt, fraudulent and collusive practices between 2017 and 2021. The AFDB said the firms and individuals were barred for coercive, collusive, corrupt, fraudulent or obstructive practices under its sanction system or adopted under the Agreement for Mutual Enforcement of Debarment Decisions from other global lenders. As a result of the debarment, the firms and individuals are not eligible to engage in project finance or implemented by the AFDB. In sports, Super Eagles coach Gernot Raw has recalled Odion Igalo two years after the Saudi Arabia-based striker retired from international football. Raw named Igalo in his 24-man squad for the 2022 World Cup qualifiers against Liberia and Cape Verde, holding later in November. Igalo called it quits with the Eagles July 2019 after he emerged top scorer with five goals at the African Cup of Nations in Egypt, where the Eagles ended in third place. And that is still as News 360 on your digital first Pan African News Network. For more updates, visit www.stostvnetwork.com. Follow and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube. Do stay with us and enjoy more programs on the network. I am Merciful Ajinamo. Thanks for watching.